teaching can facilitate effective collaboration between classroom teachers and support teachers, leading to improved learner outcomes, learner experiences and teacher practices. Team teaching is about collaboration, where two or more teachers come together to teach pupils with diverse needs in an inclusive environment. The shared goal is to help all pupils to succeed. There are many benefits of team teaching, including increased differentiated instruction, reduced pupil teacher ratio, inclusion, whereby facilitating those who will be traditionally withdrawn for support, and increased opportunities for assessment for learning. The teachers in a team teaching environment are equals drawing on one another's strengths and learning from each other. Effective team teaching requires both teachers to be involved in the instructional process. It is important to maintain communication and share responsibility for lesson preparation and instruction. In this video clip, we will look inside a classroom and focus on three of the models combined together to teach a mental math strategy the team teaching models utilised to meet the diverse needs of pupils in this classroom include teaming teaching, parallel teaching and one lead, one support teaching. Okay, so guys, what are we going to learn today? We're going to learn two things today. We're going to learn to share mental calculation strategies and to solve a problem with multiple at this point in the introduction to the lesson, one teacher has the role of eliciting the pupil's understanding of the learning outcomes. The second teacher is supporting this process by acting as a scribe, adding verbal and visual prompts as needed. So, very good. Can I just come back to this word mental teacher? Mm -hmm. I think someone used the word, what they used it for mental? Michaela, what do you use? It's like, do you use your head? You used your head, so I'm going they're to using their head, they're using their mind. mind. Very, very good. good. And there's another big, big, big word up here. Strategies. I better underline that one because mm, it's a very big so. word. Can anybody else give me another word for a strategy? So, um, Genevieve. Have lots of ideas in your head and pick one. Um, oh, I like that one. Lots, lots of different ways. Ways, ways of very doing good. it. Very good. good. The second thing we're going to learn today is to solve a problem with multiple strategies. Multiple, that's a new word. Anybody know what multiple means? More than one. Well done. Well today I have a the roles are reversed at this point, where one teacher leads the introduction of the mental maths calculation while the other teacher monitors and observes pupils' interactions. Instead of take away. 15 minus 7 equals, go, there's another way, it's a big word, it begins with S, 15 sub, subtract, 15 subtract 7, nice. With your partner, you're going to think Pair and share of different ways that you can do that. As the pupils engage in think, pair, share, both teachers are monitoring, questioning, assessing, and supporting the thinking of the pupils in the classroom. Four, like to share her strategy with myself and Miss Marion. We're dying to see what strategies you came up with. We first used the cubes, then we counted in our heads with the number line. Well, show me how you counted on the number line. Can you tell me what you did? We first went to 15, then we went back seven, seven numbers, and then it was on eight. And it landed on Very eight. Very good. So all the way back? Or did you go in? I went just Did you count backwards? Numbers. You went back seven numbers, so you went one. Yeah, back to 14, 2, you have Miss Marion. 3, Four, 5, 6, six seven. 7. So you had 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 
eight. And you landed on eight. eight. Very good. That was a good strategy. And anybody come up with a different strategy? Saoirse, can you explain with your cubes what you did? Can you tell me what you did with the cubes? So we made 15 and then, and, and then we went back to 7 by, by 2s, but then uh, as soon as it went 8, um, I went back just to the 1 and then it landed on 8. Very good. Well done. And you had to use cubes and go to right there. That was a pretty good idea. Literally, and I tell you about my. Having elicited and recorded I all the different strategies from the pupils, the teachers now both engage in the teaming model to present a new strategy for the pupils. In teaming, both teachers have an active and equal role and share the instruction of all pupils. In this video, the teachers are supporting the pupil thinking by demonstrating a teacher-selected solution but trying not to endorse the adoption of any particular method. Am I going to do it in once? We've got to move it. We've jumped in once. Did you help Miss Marmy and so? So we're going to go. Whoa. So that's eight. 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 So plus one. Now, how would I find the difference now with this approach between seven and fifteen? I've done my jumps, but how do I find the difference? Wouldn't the girls be able to figure that one out? How did I find the difference? I started at seven and I jumped up to fifteen. How did I find the difference? Erin? Um, because you counted how many jumps you did. Oh, Sorry. will we count how many jumps we did then? Oh, Let's yeah. do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do we get the Any dancer? The girls help us explain pink addition. Is there someone there who could explain it back? So might Who could something. explain my strategy to the class? Eva, would you like to? Uh, so you started on um, seven, and then you counted up to fifteen. Good. What did I do every time? I added. I added another. One. One. Very good, and that brought me up to So we came up with cubes, we came up with counting back, and now we thought of pink addition. Does anyone want to think? Which one of those do you think is the easiest to do, or the quickest to do? Cloda, what do you think? Pink addition. Why do you think pink addition? Because it's much quicker than um, doing the other, other songs. It's quicker than we have a problem here that we need to try and figure out different ways, different strategies to figure out. I'm going to read the problem for you now. Before I came to school this morning, I needed to buy a pen in the stationery shop. And I had 20 cents in my purse. But the pen cost 12 cents. So how much change would I get from the 20 cents? So that's our problem. So I am going to split the class from this side. I'm going to go over here. And Miss Roach, do you want to look over here? So you can have your cubes, you have your whiteboards, you have your number lines. See which difference you're So we're on. wondering what change we're going to get from the shop this morning. Hmm, okay. I wonder, would the girls be able to find a strategy? I wonder. Let's have a look. Okay, we have a look. Can you work in your pairs? At this point, the teachers move into a parallel style model where one teacher is working with one group of pupils and the other teacher is working with a second group. The value of this model allows the teachers to work closely with any pupils who might need additional support, allowing more language development opportunities, more reinforcement of skills and greater learner outcomes. In taking feedback on the pupils' work, the teachers now return to the lead and support model. Again, one teacher takes the role of eliciting the pupils' responses to the task, while the second teacher is supporting this process by acting as a scribe and recording their feedback as appropriate. Well, we got it. Good. Done. Anybody else have a different strategy that we used? Uh, Naomi. Number line and cubes, so we got 12 cubes and 20 cubes, 
So that makes 12. And I got here the cubes that are left. So I decided to count them. And they're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh my god. That was a very small I smart. think oh, that it's 8. Well, that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to give you a learning log. And on your learning log, you have to say what strategy you use today to work out that problem. And you also have to say what you would do differently the next time. So someone might have made a mistake, and that's okay. It's okay to make mistakes. But what would you do differently? And one thing you learned today. Is that okay? I'm going to give those out, and you can start. You can get your pencils out, actually. You'll need those. And I'm going to do this. Assessment is an important element of team teaching. The pupil learning logs and interviews provide us with an insight into the learning which occurred during the team teaching lesson and are an important tool which can be drawn upon when measuring the success of the intervention. Assessment can also be used formatively to plan for the subsequent team teaching lessons. Think addition that you start Pupil conferencing is a valuable pupil-led assessment tool that can be utilised in a team teaching context. With the jumps. It allows the teacher to probe further um, in relation to a pupil's to the learning. That you first started with. I'm joined every day. Yes, if I could have a partner, like if I work with a partner, I will share the answer with them. Yeah. We, we will learn um, how to solve some problems. Well, if I had 10 sweets and I gave five, now I think next time, I think I would use counting back. A teacher, she, she when someone brought up their strategy that they use, she brought up her strategy, which was she counted forward mm -hmm. instead. While team teaching can facilitate inclusion, there is still a need for teachers to plan and deliver differentiated programs of work to respond to the various learning styles and abilities present in the classroom. 